So remember that this is going to be the continuous of our action-oriented task. AOT is action-oriented task. Um, before the school holiday, we had done the reading and um, reading and a uh, reading part only, right? Le reading part only. And then today, <laughs> Attack on Titan. No, it's not Attack on Titan, Elizabeth. <laughs> Action oriented tasks, okay, where we are going to combine all the skills. And then definitely we cannot finish all four skills in one hour. So we break it up into two parts. And today we're going to cover on the listening and speaking. Um, TB38, same theme, same topic, um, a tourist attraction. And you are to refer to your Pulse 2 textbook page 26 and 27 right okay as usual i hope that you are actually using your moe id and do not spam respect your teacher and also your friends make sure that you have your stationery with you and your english to exercise book right or at least a piece of paper next next to you if you have any questions type it at the comment section or just unmute your mic you may switch on your camera but make sure that you mute your mic and only unmute when you are uh, required to so today's class um we start earlier like what the school instructed and in and it seems like no one complained about this one huh? so should be okay lah no clashes with your tuition or whatsoever lah right so 11 40 we're going to start in the morning and then this google meet we're going to take about one hour and then after this class actually you still have english class for 30 minutes where you need to do your task you copy the exercise and then or sometimes you can print it out and paste it in your english to book and then by the end of the um by the end of the day you are to submit your work to me snap picture send it to whatsapp telegram or just uh, simply turn in via your gcr okay uh for the gcr i might going to take um some sort of time to mark okay because it's not easy you know to mark physical book and online book especially after you spend like hours in front of the laptop preparing the materials and then after that you need to continue in front of the laptop again and then you need to mark so i will definitely take time for that one huh? for the gcr as long as you had submitted should be okay you don't have to worry okay next <clears throat> so this one copy 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 elizabeth i sent to whatsapp no problem ellie okay because the, those who submitted whatsapp actually um i can record your pbd much more easier and faster compared to gcr because gcr sometimes the student they turn in but it's actually empty ah so you need to double check make sure it's not empty you have the attachment of your finished work before you submit your work before you turn in your work because i need to check one by one and then usually i will have this empty submission uh, compared to um whatsapp easier for me i will not only send to whatsapp yeah sure 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 ellie right Okay, this one you copy. So, like I said, AOT stands for action-oriented task where we are supposed to combine all the four skills. Reading, listening, speaking, writing. We had done the reading part before the school holiday and today we're going to cover both listening and speaking skills. So, make sure that you have your earphone, your headphones for best experience, right? And then by the end of the class, also for the speaking skills, you need to, some of you, uh, you need to switch on your or unmute your mic for the speaking skills, right? So this one you copy. If you are ready, if you are done with the copying part, type done. 56 in the class now, including my presentation and me myself.
Done screenshot. Okay, Ellie, good job. Smart choice. <laughs> Manisha, done. Your ear headphones. <laughs> RIP. What happened, Arif? What did you do with the headphones? <laughs> okay. You know now it's MCO, right? So you need to, when you want to buy um, headphones and um, earphones also very difficult to go and buy because most of the shops are closed. Jaina, Tan Xuanhen, done. Thank you. All right. Yeah, la, you order Lazada or Shopee, but it's going to take some time, la, especially when it was like, it, it, if, especially if the sender is JNT, la, sometimes JNT bought hal, right? So it's going to take like one week to reach you. Huh? So for this one week, you don't have any headphones or earphones. I really recommend that you uh, put on your headphones or earphones when you have your online classes. Easier, right? Okay, Dana, this one, I move to the next slide. <clears throat> okay, this one you don't have to copy. I just want to um, put it here so that um, when I repost this on my YouTube channel, maybe. Uh, so at least those who are watching, they know that this, um, this lesson is actually um, based on the syllabus. Okay, listening 1.1.1. And also listening, 1.1.2. So the codes over here in the blue is also the codes for our PBD max. PBD max, right? So the next one is speaking, both also speaking, 2.1.1 and 2.4.1. So the codes are for speaking PBD also, right? Okay, next. Okay, so basically how many activities are we going to do today? Today we are going to do four activities only. Must be positive, right? <laughs> okay. Four activities only. Number one, you are to listen to a phone conversation and complete the notes. The notes you can refer to your Pulse 2 textbook. And then activity two, listen to this, uh, to this, uh, to the same audio again, and then answer some questions. And then number three, complete the dialogue. This uh, activity three is basically the speaking, uh, speaking frame where you are going to use the dialogue as the sample for your activity four. The activity four is where your speaking skill will going to take place. All right. Okay, now let's do activity one, guys. Go grab your pulse two, pulse two, your stationery, and also your English two exercise book. And for this activity, since that we are going to have some listening activities, it is good if you have your headphones or your phones with you. Page 26. Always beside me. Good job, Manisha. Right, activity one. So, yes, okay, I put here activity one because in this Google Meet session, this is our first activi activity. Now, what happened to my English? Huh? <laughs> but if you refer to your Pulse 2, the activity one I mentioned for this Google Meet is actually for exercise number three. Okay. Now, look at exercise 3, page 26. You are to listen to someone phoning for information about King Arthur's Labyrinth. Copy and complete the notes. To make your life easier, the one that you need to copy is just the answers. The question number, question number, and the answers only are you happy will that be okay or if you are too rajin to do all uh, you want to copy everything you you are welcome to do so all right thank you for the response joel jaina okay <laughs> all right so remember the listening skill before you listen what is the first thing that you need to do can someone refresh back before you listen to the to the audio? What could be the first thing that you need to do before you listen? Jaina Tan, good. 
Yes, you need to read the questions first. Okay, how many questions do you need to fill in as the answers over here? How many questions? Five? Yes, correct. Five. We have one, two, three, four, five. Now, let's read the question. King Arthur's Labyrinth. Open every day. 1 a.m. to... What's the answer? Mark Yun Soon. No need to copy. You just need to copy the answers later on. Huh? Mark Yun Soon. All right. Tickets. Children, how, how much? In pounds. Huh? And then adults, in pounds. Where to buy tickets? At the labyrinth or where? Food available at the... What? The answer number five. Okay, are you ready? For this one, you just get to listen to the audio one time only, okay? One time only. Okay, ready? Let's start. Unit 2. Integrated Skills. A visit to King Arthur's Labyrinth. Exercise 3. Wales Tourist Information. How can I help? Oh, hello. I'd like some information about King Arthur's Labyrinth, please. OK. What would you like to know? Well, I'm interested in visiting next weekend. Can you tell me the opening times? Yes. It's open from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. every day. Great. And how much are the tickets? Well, how old are you? I'm 14 and I'm coming with my younger sister and my parents. OK. Well, our children's tickets are £5.95 and our adult's tickets are £8.95. You can buy them at the labyrinth on the day or you can buy them in advance online. Great. Thanks. Is there anywhere we can buy something to eat? Yes, you can eat at the cafe. It's also open all day. Brilliant. Oh, I nearly forgot. We'll be travelling by car. Is there a car park? Yes, there is. OK. Thanks very much for your help. You're welcome. Bye. OK, how is it? Did you manage to get all five answers over here? <laughs> Bye already. <laughs> you didn't get? Mark Yun Soon? What happened? All right. Okay. Now, let's discuss question number one. What's the answer? Type your answer at the chat box. What's the answer? Open every day, 10 a.m. to... Okay, we have the first one just now. One Z Wen, five p.m. Jonathan, Manisha, Mark Yun Soon, Tan Xuan Hen. All right, five p.m. Five p.m. every day. Chan Yu Jun, Tang Zi En. Okay, now let's check. Very good. Five p.m. Okay, like uh, if you see Chan Yu Jun's answer. Okay, the answer is 5 p.m. every day. So, acceptable or not? Because we have open every day, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Can we accept the answer or not? Chan Yu Jun. Okay, basically, yes, I agree, uh, Jay Nathan. Basically, you don't have to copy every day re in repeat. Okay, in repetition. S but, but, but. We can still accept it because it's just a minor, minor error. Okay, minor error. We still can accept it. It's just a minor error, but just be careful next time. Okay, what if, what if you write 5 a.m.? It's the same number, 5, correct or not? Can we accept or not? 5 a.m.? Are definitely wrong, okay? Jaina, Chan Yu Jun, Manisha. Yes, you need to be careful. Be just because here 
10 a.m. doesn't mean that you need to put here a.m. also. You need to be careful on the a.m. and the p.m. also. Don't make careless mistakes. Okay, thank you for the response. Now, let's discuss number two, guys. Number two, the price of the tickets for the children in pounds. You don't have to write the symbol. Lah. You don't have to write the symbol. <laughs> okay, I have different spellings. <laughs> Ah, is it only five? Five pounds only? How much? You need to put the figure. Ah, because we can see Tan, Tan, Shwenhen, five. Okay, and then Cherry Mei Ho, um, only pounds. Chan Yu Jun. Okay, good. 5.95. 5 5.95. Uh, Manisha, well done. Jaina, okay. Five nine five. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, the correct answer is ah check check five pounds uh ninety five. Ah right, <laughs> pounds ah p o u n d s, not pond. Pond is the column one. Ah, like Jana's answer. Like Jana's answer. P a u n d s pounds. All right. Now, how about the answer for number three, guys? Number three. Ah, one C U N. The first one, eight point ninety five. How about the rest of you? Okay, Manisha, Tan, Chuen Hen. Okay, I, I think this one is quite easy, right? Let's check. Correct. Okay, good job. I have answer in your book. Hi la. That one must be from your senior la. Okay. <laughs> they always put it. You know, that's why if uh, you are not supposed to write anything in your textbook because it is a loan scheme, ah, right? So, yeah, don't, don't write anything in your um, uh, textbook. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't hear answer for three and four, Mark Yun Soon? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, Ejin, seniors help you to write. <laughs> they just lazy to copy it in their exercise book. That's why they just simply put it uh, in the textbook. Actually, you cannot. Uh, if you jot down anything in your textbook, you need to clean it after. Right. I think it's because I listen to song. No wonder, Yun Soon. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got distracted by listening to other things. All ah, right. Okay. Now, guys, number four, number four. What's your answer for number four? <clears throat> ah, oh, they write the answer in pen. Okay, okay, okay. Not that Z-U-N. Then you cannot do anything. Lah. Okay, Jonathan, online. Manisha, online. Eh, that one? Okay, 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 number four, number four. All right, correct. Yes, online. Correct. This one is easy. It's straightforward. Okay, how about number five, guys? Number five, food available at the... Ah. Yes, this one is correct also. One Z-U-N, Jonathan, Manisha, Chan Yujun, Yijin. Cafe. Ah. Cafe all day. Cafe. All right. Okay, copy the... The answers only. Copy the answers only. Oh, yo, I'm hungry lah. <laughs> I asked my student to take some, uh, to take breakfast. <laughs> then I, me myself, didn't get the chance to eat. <laughs> All right, okay. Dana, let's move to the next one. Haven't eaten? Okay, after this lah, one ZUN. Oh. You can also eat munch munch when you do this activity with me. But you cannot eat nasi lemak lah during the, you know, when you have online classes. Biscuits like that, you have like your Milo, hot Milo, that one, okay, acceptable. You cannot have like nasi lemak and everything there, like uh, curry, curry me also. <laughs> okay. Ah, no need, huh? Hi, Eve. All right, now this is activity two. We are going to, it is activity two, but in your pulse two, we are going to refer to exercise number four, page 26. Curry laksa pinang, ay. You make me feel much more hungrier than before. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Now, this is activity two, but we are going to uh, refer to exercise four. You are going to listen again to the audio. And if you notice, uh, the woman in the phone conversation, you will know that she is not a native speaker of um, the British people. You can hear different accent over there. Uh, it's normal. It's like us. Lah. Some of us, English is our second language, like me. My first language is Bahasa, Malay. Okay, so my second uh, language is English. So when I speak English, it is possible for you to listen Malay accent in my English. Uh, same goes with the uh, phone conversation with the woman you are going to hear after this. So it's normal. All right. Okay, now I already put here the in the box, in the boxes, the keywords that you need to find as the answer to the questions when is the boy going to visit king arthur's labyrinth number two who is going uh, is he going with and number three how is he going to travel there all right are you ready to listen this one only one time huh? answer only yes mark yunson Answer only. You don't have to copy the questions. Just copy the answers. All right, let's start. Unit 2. Integrated skills. A visit to King Arthur's Labyrinth. Exercise 3. Wales Tourist Information. How can I help? Oh, hello. I'd like some information about King Arthur's Labyrinth, please. OK. What would you like to know? Well, I'm interested in visiting next weekend. Can you tell me the opening times? Yes. It's open from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. every day. Great. And how much are the tickets? Well, how old are you? I'm 14 and I'm coming with my younger sister and my parents. OK. Well, our children's tickets are £5.95 and our adults' tickets are £8.95. You can buy them at the labyrinth on the day or you can buy them in advance online. Great. Thanks. Is there anywhere we can buy something to eat? Yes, you can eat at the cafe. It's also open all day. Brilliant. Oh, I nearly forgot. We'll be travelling by car. Is there a car park? Yes, there is. OK. Thanks very much for your help. You're welcome. Bye. All right. So I would like to ask you, do you need to listen to the audio again? Yes, no, no need. Okay. Uh, Ejin says yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, like this. We are going to listen to the uh, audio again. It's going to take like 1 minute and 43 seconds only. Ejin, what you have to do is to find, look for the answers and the rest, uh, the, rest right? the rest of you. What happened to my English? Lah? <laughs> The rest of you, you need to double check your answer. Okay, Ijin, okay? All right, let's start. Huh? The rest of you, check your answers. Ready? Unit 2. Integrated skills. A visit to King Arthur's Labyrinth. Exercise 3. Wales Tourist Information. How can I help? Oh, hello. I'd like some information about King Arthur's Labyrinth, please. OK. What would you like to know? Well, I'm interested in visiting next weekend. Can you tell me the opening times? Ayo, what happened? Yes, 
It's open from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. every day. Great. And how much are the tickets? Well, how old are you? I'm 14 and I'm coming with my younger sister and my parents. OK. Well, our children's tickets are £5.95 and our adults' tickets are £8.95. You can buy them at the labyrinth on the day or you can buy them in advance online. Great, thanks. Is there anywhere we can buy something to eat? Yes, you can eat at the cafe. It's also open all day. Brilliant. Oh, I nearly forgot. We'll be travelling by car. Is there a car park? Yes, there is. OK. Thanks very much for your help. You're welcome. Bye. All right. OK, Eve, this is what happens when you don't communicate with people face to face. You will lose your language like me. <laughs> yeah, Lord Eve. Hi. Has been like staying at home like for months already. Since last year. Uh, hi, Sanjana. Sanjana, no problem. Welcome to the class. Um, one Z Wen. Yes, yes, yes. You can, uh, you know, have something. You can eat something also. Eat noodle lah, Yun Sun. Do not spill at your laptop or your handphone or whatsoever. Okay. Hmm. Okay, sushi. Where do you get the sushi at this time, Ryan Lim? <laughs> I was so fluent, Eve. Okay. Hot cup. Hot cup. Mm, okay lah. Hot cup also okay lah. No problem lah. Right? Food panda. Now? You want to eat, uh, You want to order food panda now? Oh, last night. Wow. Eating. Was eating sushi some more, ah, Ryan Lim. Nice lah. Makar makaroti dulu. Okay, can, can, can. Makaroti dulu. But you stay in the classroom also. Where you listen to me while you are eating. Okay. <laughs> Makan roti lagi bagus. It doesn't spill everywhere. Oh, uh, yalah. Teacher, you said don't spill the noodle. Then I just spill it. Okay, good job. GG, Yunsun. The more I said, uh, this is the, uh, you know, you know that uh, they have this content on TikTok, you know, between the Europe uh, mothers and the Asian mothers when the children like uh, fell down. And then, uh, usually the Europe mothers, they will say, are you okay, my son? Are you okay, my darling? But what happened to Asian uh, mothers, you know? Ah, you go play some more lah. You play some more and then you jatuh again. Then good for you lah. Uh, that, this is like Yun Sun's, uh, Yun Sun's situation. <laughs> betul, okay. betul. Us Asian, Asian right. family, very, very killer one. I know. The more you say don't spill, then... You will spill it more. <laughs> <laughs> the European parents, most of them, they can scream at their parents. I know. But if we scream at our parents, we won't come out alive the next day. <laughs> Ijin, in Asia, you get smacked. Yala, got extra smacked some more. <laughs> makan Maggi curry je. Ala, Arif, lepas ni makan nasi. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's discuss the answer, guys. Let's discuss, discuss the answer. All right, number one. What's your answer for number one? <laughs> Elizabeth, they say it on purpose one. <laughs> they call their parents by their names. Yala, Jena, sometimes like that. Uh, <laughs> okay, is there any answer for number one, guys? What's your answer? Ah, Manisha says next weekend. Next weekend. Ah, next weekend. Wow, Chen Zixin, the boy is going to visit King Arthur's Labyrinth next weekend. All right, good. Now, let's check the answer. Number one, that's the keyword. As long as you have the words next weekend, it will be acceptable. Okay, it will be acceptable. Like Chen Zixin, okay. Uh, that one is actually the full sentence, which is well done. The boy is going to visit King Arthur's Labyrinth next weekend. Well done. Okay, how about number two? Number two, guys. Number two. Ah, his younger sister and his parents. Ijin, Jaina. His younger sister and his parents. Uh, Arif, with his sister only? Or 
does he have like did he have like any other uh, people joining transition he is going with his younger sister and his parents well then ah arif double check your answer so let's check ah you must have both ah his younger sister and his parents if you only have his younger sister meaning that it's not complete then the answer will be wrong arif okay arif okay what if ah what if you write his younger sisters plural and his parents can we accept the answer or not his younger sisters and his parents accept or not ah manisha okay just be careful ah because that we're going to change the meaning instead of only one sister if you put in plural form then it will going to change the meaning because we are asking for the specific answer of the who over here right eve okay okay great opinion sharing over there <laughs> yeah uh yes yes it's true 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 okay eve says europe children's called uh scolded the uh, the parents and the parents listen to them ah there are you know the downfall of the europe um parenting skills also so sometimes ours are still the best right <laughs> okay so guys number three number three number three Jaina, he is going to going there by car. Lamborghini, ah. <laughs> All right, okay. Chen Zixin, Manisha, by car. He is going to travel there by car. Okay, as long as you have the keyword, by car, <laughs> the Supra car, Bugatti, helicopter, Ryan Lim, ah, private jet, Ayla. Okay, by car, by car. All right, copy the answers, copy the answers so that after this we are going to move to activity number three. Tesla. Oh, you play. These people must play PUBG lah, you know. Tesla. Huh. <laughs> okay. No, we watch too much, too many videos. Too many videos, on huh? On YouTube. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, yes. McLaren. <laughs> okay. Okay, Dana. Okay, next activity three and we are going to refer to exercise number five still you are going to listen to an audio but this time around it's going to be a different audio ah, okay now the one that we are going to focus is the speaking skill speaking skill on asking about an experience you know sometimes when you went for holidays and then you want to share your holiday experience with your friends there is a proper way and actually um, it is part of the speaking skills over here ah you see here you will need to have a pen and a paper for this activity meaning that when you listen while you are answering you need to jot down the keywords so get ready with a pen and paper for this activity right asking about an experience okay refer to your pulse to page 27 exercise 5 i retype i retype the exercise over here and if you notice that this is actually the same activity on page 27 exercise 5 i hope that you can see it in your book did you manage to find it in your pulse 2 textbook yes manisha okay good all right activity 5 eh? exercise 5 now the girl and the boy so let's look at the dialogue first Remember, you need to listen to the audio and then fill in the blanks with the correct words. One blank, one word. One blank, one word. Uh, Mark Yun Soon, don't tell us to copy this. No need to copyright. Only copy the answers, Yun Soon. Answers only. 
Okay, no worries. Copy the answers only later. Okay, all right. So before we listen, what we have to do is to read first. Let's read. Huh? So did you have a good time in Wales? Yes, thanks. It was amazing. What did you do there? We went to King Arthur's Labyrinth in the, what's the answer? It was really exciting. Really? Why was it so much fun? We went underground and, and explored a cave with a blank. He was so funny. That sounds great. What did you enjoy most? Well, I really like hearing about King Arthur's adventures, but I thought the interactive parts were best. Look at this photo of me with a what? Okay. It looks quite what? I'm glad you enjoyed it though. You should go one day. All right. So if you see in this conversation, if we are talking about an experience, do we use the present tense or past tense, guys? We are talking about experience. Jaina, pass. Yes, correct. Okay, Jaina. You guys hungry already? Okay, okay, okay. Few minutes, ah. Huh? After this, after this, after this activity, we have one more and then finish. Okay, Elizabeth, past tense. All right. <laughs> yes, past tense, ah. Huh? Remember, in a conversation when you are sharing your experiences with your friends, you need to use past tense form. Same goes in writing skill. If you are writing um a letter to a friend talking about your ex holiday experiences then you are to write it in past tense form here went was went explored okay All right now are you ready to listen to the audio meaning that you cannot spam at the chat box ready or not ready yeah huh? Okay, this is your first listening on the audio. Let's start. Unit 2. Integrated skills. Asking about an experience. Exercise 5. So, did you have a good time in Wales? Yes, thanks. It was amazing. What did you do there? We went to King Arthur's Labyrinth in the mountains. It was really exciting. Really? Why was it so much fun? We went underground and explored a cave with a guide. He was so funny. That sounds great. What did you enjoy most? Well, I really liked hearing about King Arthur's adventures, but I thought the interactive parts were best. Look at this photo of me with the dragon. It looks quite scary. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. You should go one day. Okay, that was your first listening. This is going to be your second listening. What you have to do is to answer all four questions and then double check the one that you had answered. Ready, let's start. Unit 2. Integrated Skills. Asking about an experience. Exercise 5. So, did you have a good time in Wales? Yes, thanks. It was amazing. What did you do there? We went to King Arthur's Labyrinth in the mountains. It was really exciting. Really? Why was it so much fun? We went underground and explored a cave with a guide. He was so funny. That sounds great. What did you enjoy most? Well, I really liked hearing about King Arthur's adventures, but I thought the interactive parts were best. Look at this photo of me with the dragon. It looks quite scary. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. You should go one day. Okay. All right. Uh, where is Wales? Wales is actually in Great Britain. Okay. In the UK. Huh? <laughs> okay. Let's answer number one, guys. What's your answer for number one? Tan Chuen Han, Jaina, Sanjana, 
Chen Zi Shin Manisha Charlotte. One Z, uh, one Z one, that's not the answer. Okay. <laughs> Yun Sen, okay. Mountain or mountains? Ah, check. It is in plural form. Double check your answer. Mountains. Mountains. Ah, plural. Okay, mountains. Right? <clears throat> okay, how about number two, guys? Number two. What's your answer for number two? Ah, he was so funny over here. He, he. So the boy is actually talking about a person. Ah, okay, so we have. Hey, Charlotte, not yet, not yet, dragon, Charlotte. Number two, Manisha, guide, transition, guide, Sanjana, a guy or guide? Ah, it is actually, yes, Mark Yunsun. Double check. And explored a cave with a guide. Do you know who is a guide? Do you, do you know what is a guide to? Ah, okay. Usually when you go for a tour, there will be one special person to describe or to tell you about the history of that place and so on. And that person is what we call the guide, the tourist guide sometimes. Ah, okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, number three, guys. Geography people guide. <laughs> Number three, Manisha, Dragon, Sanjana, Transition, Dragon. Okay, this one is quite easy, right? <laughs> okay, so yes, number three is Dragon. Okay, last one, number four, number four. Tan Chuan Hen, Manisha, Transition, Scary. Okay, yes. So we have number one, mountains, number two, guide, number three, dragon, and number four, scary. Okay, copy the answers, copy the answers. We have come to the final activity, guys. Okay. How to train your dragon. I thought that one is like animation, something like that, or if. Hmm. <laughs> dragon and mythical creatures. Yes, Jaina, I agree with you. Actually, no one had actually seen a dragon, uh, so we can we can categorize it as as mythical creatures. The actual one, okay? Ah, uh, I had seen it. Meh, Tanjuan Hun, Komodo dragon is different, lah. <laughs> okay. All right. Activity four. Then I can say dragon fruit is also one type of, you know, animal lah, dragon fruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or the one, the one that we have dragon, we can say the, that one is the animal, you know. Dragon fruit also the animal one, dragon. <laughs> the dragon egg. <laughs> okay. Okay, final activity, guys. Okay, activity four. But we are going to refer to exercise 10, exercise, uh, exercise 10 in your Pulse 2, page 27, right? Think of a tourist attraction you have visited. Imagine that the pandemic is over and you get to go jalan-jalan ke sana, ke sini, ke sana, ke sini. And then you get to visit this tourist attraction that you keen to visit uh, for example you know like, like you know langkawi like that what else like the sabah there got so many tourist attraction okay okay you can go to uh, what caves also um to the gua like geography ha huh? okay what are you are to role play a similar dialogue to the one in activity three just now but you need to change where necessary. Huh, okay? So imagine that you had visited a tourist attraction. Now, this is a similar dialogue as your guideline. As you can see, the red spaces over here, you are to fill it with your own words, with the tourist attraction of your choice. 
before we start with your turn allow me to give you an example so for this one later on we need two students to open mic okay to unmute your mic one will be student a another one will be student b isn't this the same mark Yunsun. yes it is actually similar similar but you change the rate spaces with your own words ah just now in the in the activity three in activity three we were talking about um the king arthur's labyrinth but we don't have that one in malaysia so you change it into malaysian situation student one teacher student two teacher <laughs> gg ryan lim <laughs> Okay, okay, I give example, I give example. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I choose Langkawi, ah, the legendary Langkawi. So, did you have a good time in Langkawi? Yes, thanks. It was amazing. Or you can say, it was wonderful. Ah, something. Or, it was unforgettable. Ah, so you change the red spaces with your own words uh tan chuan hen not amazing okay if you say that it was not amazing then you need to describe here as your answer also i'm not going to say it's wrong because some people got very bad experience from uh, their holidays right so i'm not going to say it's wrong if you want to say like jaina like jaina she wrote the terrible yes thanks it was terrible then if you want to say something terrible then you cannot say yes over here you need to change no it was terrible ha huh? something like that ah kaseng there is no kehadiran link in puan amadi's um class okay i can detect automatically all right okay like this one what did you do there we went to where 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 in langkawi of course like the beach right we went to the beach. It was really exciting. Ah, right? Okay. Really? Why was it so much fun? We went to Pantai Chenang because we are talking about the beach and then to Pantai Chenang. It was described about the Pantai. Crystal clear. Ah, okay. Tan Chuan Hen. If you want to say about fishing, can. Can. We went fishing. It was what? Uh, tiring. Uh, describe about the fishing activity. No, no problem. Ah, okay. <clears throat> we went to the beach wrong. Uh, why, Yunsun? Where got to two? Is it? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just testing you guys, Yunsun. Okay, we delete these two because already got two. Yes, I was actually testing guys ah see, i want to check whether you alert or not okay <laughs> we went to only one two okay <laughs> to the beach <laughs> okay looks like we have the grammar inspector over there grammar officer <laughs> from mark yunsun <laughs> okay okay number six fbi yes the grammatical fbi from mark yunsun <laughs> okay number six that ah that sounds great what did you enjoy most well i really like snorkeling do you all know snorkeling do you all know snorkeling ah you all know it's not like diving you know it's not like diving it's like at the surface of the what at the water like that Ah, okay. Look at this photo of me with the fishes. Ah. Oh, you can say the turtles, but I'm not sure whether in Langkawi they have turtles or not. The sharks. Wow, Tan Xuan Hen, so brave, ah, taking pictures with the sharks some more. <laughs> okay, last one. It looks quite fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it though you should go one day all right so now guys i just need two students one student becomes student a and the other student becomes student b 
once we are done with this activity we are done with our class for today the faster you volunteer the easier it will be <laughs> partner with your hand ah, Ijin. <laughs> i don't think your your hand wants to be partner with you also <laughs> joel yes got pbd joel this is speaking pbd joel of course got pbd this is speaking pbd <laughs> Okay, Joel, Joel, you become student A, ah? Joel? Joel, student A, can I? Okay, Joel, student A. Okay, who wants to be student B? Jamie, Jamie, you get, uh, you get um, a vote over there, Jamie. <laughs> Is Jamie there? <clears throat> Jamie Tan. Ah, Jamie, you do student B. Okay, Jamie? me and my food one z u n okay one z u n student a u and then student b will be your food okay one z u n you go have conversation with your food <laughs> okay guys are you ready jamie and joel open mic hey i cannot hear anything Joel? Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, how about Jamie? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Whenever you are ready, you can start. Teacher, the, the whole, whole, whole. Yeah. You just follow the script. But you change Langkawi to your own place lah. So did you have a good time in in China? Yes, thanks. It was perfect. What what did you do there? We went to uh, our We went to Beijing. It was really exciting. Really? What? Why was it so much fun? We went to... Uh, we, we went to Shanghai. Oh it was <laughs> it was um it was fun it sounds great what did you enjoy most well i really like the food <laughs> look at this photo of me with with the food. It looks quite fun. I'm glad you enjoy it though. You should go one day. Okay, great. Okay. Good job. Guys, it's not easy like easy for you to type la. See, lagging la, loading la. When it comes to your time, you know, you might going to leave this chat and then say, teacher, I'm lagging. But actually, you cannot say all of this, you know. Uh, it was great, actually. Excellent. Thank you to Jamie and Joel and both of them are going to get PBD for speaking. All right. Okay, guys. Do you have any questions? What's so fast saying no? Ah? <laughs> Food is calling already. The lunch is calling already. Okay, no attendance link because I can get your uh, data automatically. So I see you again on Thursday. Do not forget to send your homework via GCR, the pack and do one all right okay if you don't have any more questions thank you so much and bye bye to all of you guys <laughs>